real mind. I always have these nights when I, I wake up suddenly. Maybe I was already awoken. Maybe I can't go to sleep. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'm scared to go to sleep of having wonderful dreams of things I'll never have or having terrible nightmares that are no different from reality or maybe no dreams at all a dreamless sleep I stay up for whatever reason just lying in my bed staring at the ceiling Awoken and alone, the TV's on, music playing, it's dark outside, and yet a part of me finds peace, beauty, and solitude in it. I don't know why. I love this feeling, but I also hate it, the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel so alone yet so peaceful. I guess it's just something I tell myself to find some beauty in my pain. I love it when I'm listening to the music. It doesn't just come off as amusement. It, it makes the pain go away slowly, like healing a wound that is my brain my men mentality, my soul. As I stare at the ceiling, I, I ponder these thoughts, these very interesting thoughts, these precious thoughts, these vulnerable thoughts, not thoughts about me, my viewpoint, anything. It's thoughts about my reality thoughts about my past my present and my future I think about stuff I've done good bad ugly I think about what I'm doing now if I enjoy where I'm at if I don't what can I do to change it if I do why and I think, no, I fear the future. I fear about what could happen to me. More good stuff, more bad stuff, more ugly. I don't know how to feel. All I can do is just ponder on and on until it all hits me eventually. Reality. What the fuck is reality? I couldn't tell you. Reality, I guess, is just everything. All at once. You, me, us, them, there, here, now. I remember, I used to make fun of myself whenever I was in the shower. The water's hitting my hair but it doesn't feel like water hitting my hair. It feels like it's hitting my, my thoughts. I can't be alone in how sometimes when I'm in the shower, when the water's hitting, sometimes I just think too far off to where I'm in the shower way longer than I should be. I think about the most scariest thoughts, but the most scariest of them all is reality I, I start panicking mentally I start freaking out about how I exist how any of this exists I start looking at my hand and I get terrified you know I start my brain just starts I can't even start I just keep thinking how is any of this possible how is this real where am I why am I who am I 
It scares me. It seems dumb because, well, it's already here. But how did it get here? Why is it here? Why am I here? And when I lay down in my bed, staring at the ceiling, I think, I just keep thinking. Thinking of what? I don't even know. It's like they say when, when you have a dream and you really love that dream, or even if it's scary, it's just so fascinating that sometimes people, when they wake up, they immediately write it down on a journal so they don't forget it. Your most wondrous dreams, they leave you. And you try so hard to hold on to it. Me, it's like what these thoughts are. I try my best to hold on to it. Because these thoughts are so beautiful. No matter how sad, painful, or joyous it can all be. But I don't write it down. Because I can't hold on to things forever. That's just how I am. But I do enjoy it, these moments. It's like in this moment lying down, reality becomes into one. I remember being at school. I remember talking with my friends, all my friends, all those groups, all those different grades, all those different classes, all those different cliques. The thing I remember most, maybe everybody knows it, Maybe I only know it. Maybe you only know it. It's that I'll sit there in the cafeteria, large, the size of a, shit, the size of two movie theaters. And it's so fucking loud. It's so loud, it's like a football stadium or a music concert. And it gets so loud that I don't even notice it. All these millions of sounds and voices colliding into one. And then eventually when I notice it, the sound starts slowly fading. And it just disappears entirely. And then I feel entirely alone. Because I feel like I'm the only one who notices it. When I tell my friends, they don't notice it at all. They tell me I'm crazy. They tell me, I don't even remember. It's the thing about reality. Every day is just, every day. You wake up, you brush your teeth, you go to work, you go to school, you hang out with your friends, you go home, you go to sleep rinse and repeat every single day and yet every single day it's always loud always always loud you don't even notice it our lives are cranked up to 100 but sometimes for me at least there are all those moments when the volume cranks down it cranks down and I love it. It's those moments that, when we're on our deathbeds, those are the moments we remember. I remember being on that truck with a girl I really liked, staring at the stars. Her face, so beautiful. And I remember that feeling. I'll never remember what homework assignments I did what kid was talking shit about me. But I remember her. I remember that feeling. And I will never let that go, even though I should. How can I? Those are the things that push me forward. It's all those memories I remember. All of them. I remember meeting my first friend. I remember the first video game I played. I remember the first movie I watched. 
how mesmerized I was looking at that screen. I couldn't understand it. I was three years old, my brain couldn't even comprehend it. But all I knew is that deep down I loved it. And I didn't want it to stop. But I also remember the bad stuff too. I remember that first day of school. Pissing and shitting. Horrified. Of my mom leaving me. I was so scared. I was so alone. I was terrified. My mom. I was with her every day at home. My mom. The only person that I only cared about. My dad too. And I just remember going to that first day, walking towards the front doors, walking into the hallway. So excited to spend a day with my mom like usual until she told me she couldn't come with me. She may not remember it, but inside, I was so horrified. For once, I was alone. My mom was at home, and I was in this completely new place. I thought I was on a different planet, far away from my mom. And then I walked into my class, and I saw all these aliens, my supposed classmates, these kids, and I was so horrified. They look like me. They look different. But they still have eyes, noses, lips, hair. They look like me. But I didn't look like them. And I didn't know them. And that terrified me. But just like every day, I got used to it. Even if they bullied me. Even if they became my friend. Friends lost, friends gained, enemies made, enemies departed. Eventually I got used to it, no matter how painful or greater it can be. That's the thing about reality. The thing people don't notice most is that we always say how life can be repetitive. And it's true. It's all one big loop. I was always terrified of the idea of me being in a time loop. But it doesn't have to be a real time loop to be a time loop. Every day is the same thing. But eventually, there are stages. And eventually, even when those stages come, then things will be different. Eventually, you get used to it. Eventually, you get used to it. But doesn't mean it's still not scary. Doesn't mean you're not terrified. Me, I've been in the same loop my whole life that the moment my life changes, the moment I move out, the moment I'm on my own, the moment I have to struggle, find new friends, find a new roof, I'll be excited this time. I won't be scared. Because I would rather break out of my loop and enter a new one. One where I can smile every day and not be afraid anymore of what I can do, what I will do, what I've done, what people will do to me, what they've already done to me, and what they're capable of doing to me. But that's the thing. It's all just a dream. Dreams are fictitious. Reality isn't. That's why we escape into books, movies. We just talk the dumbest shit with our friends. Or tell the dumbest shit to ourselves. Because we try to ignore reality. We may exist in it. But we don't exist with reality. 
We just think and think and think. We talk, we talk, we talk. We read, we read, we read to escape it constantly. I used to think that life was like a, a show, a theater show, and that everybody, they chose to keep the curtains closed. They chose to live in their little bubbles and keep the same loop over and over again. But me, I opened that curtain and I walked through and I walked off the stage. I was ready to enter the unknown. I think that's why a lot of people didn't like me, but I don't care. I've learned to like me. Sure, it's great to be different. To say that everybody's special can be true, but can also be total bullshit. Cause a lot of people, no, everybody is different. But there's being different and showing it and being different and not showing it. You live your life the way you want to. Your choices are your choices. Your reality is your reality. We all exist in reality, but we have our own realities we're going through. But you should embrace yourself for who you are and not hide. Because you only end up building a barrier instead of a bridge. I don't want that. I want to be me. No matter how weird, no matter how goofy, no matter how stupid, but smart, handsome, and cool I can be, it's worth the risk. I feel like sometimes I'm walking through a crowd of people. No, I'm walking through a whole world completely in black and white color. Everybody's the same. Everybody's faceless. Every building is the same. Every street corner, every lamp post, every mailbox, everybody is the same, but not me. I'm colorful, you're colorful. I would know, you're listening to this, aren't you? You are colorful, you are different, you are you. And if you're not, then become you. There's nobody else you can be but you. If you don't like who you are, then change yourself. Change yourself into the person you are deep inside. Become you in every way. You have to. What's the point of living in reality? I had this friend, a really good old friend. I missed him. He was very wise, and he noticed how down in depression I was. He told me, there's nothing we can do to change reality, but we can change the way we feel about it. I used to hate that shit when he told me that. I used to think it was so ignorant. You should be allowed to change reality to whatever you want. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Win that happy ending, drive off into the sunset with the people you love, earn that happy ending. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized sometimes you can't change the world or your reality. But you can't change the way you feel about it. Sometimes not everything's perfect. There will always be bad days and good days. It's nothing you can do except change the way you feel about it. Why feel about it? Because we're not, we're born into what we're born into. Not everybody gets to be born into a perfect rich family. Sometimes we have the shittiest childhoods, abusive parents, abusive friends everything but we can change that for ourselves how we feel how we move forward it's not about changing reality 
I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I guess it's about changing who we are in that reality. I don't know what reality is. All I know is that it all comes together when you think, when you feel. When it's real. I mean, it's called real, right? I guess all you gotta do to be different from everybody else, accept your feelings, accept that you can't change everything, but also understand that you can change who you are. I guess that's what reality is. Accepting your version of life by learning to be real. <laughs>